Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Total Body Conditioning. I'm Denise Drews, and I want you to just grab whatever toys and tools you have around you in your living space, and let's get sweaty and strong and happy, all right? So, we're gonna start this workout with a warm up, like we always do. So I want you to take your feet about hip distance apart, shoulders on your back, and we're just gonna squat right here. Now I'm gonna set a timer so that I can keep track of things for you. All right, so we're just warming up all of the major muscles, loosening up our joints. Today we're gonna incorporate some balance moves along with our strength and our cardio. Take it down and pulse it out right here. Let your toes bounce up off the ground, weight is in your heels. You can't see me behind the step, I'll scoot over here, but your toes are just slightly coming up off the floor. Back to singles now, reach and pull, reach and pull. Hips come way back, chest stays lifted. So as we're doing these uh, balancing poses and strength and cardio, I want you to just remember that it's not about never falling down. It's about whether you get back up, all right? Tap your heels on your bench, left and right. Good, nice and easy. I have a step, I've got a mat. I've got dumbbells, I've got a sweat towel and a water bottle. Anything else you can find that you need, you grab it. We're gonna do this. Eight more, and we'll move into a little bit of a stretch. Four, three, right leg on top, lift up, lower down. Beautiful. Four more, three more. Two more, and hold it down. Weight on your legs, the knee is soft, and you're just angled so that you have a nice hamstring stretch. See if you can feel this more in the belly of the muscle and less in the attachments. Go ahead and lower your toes, stretch across your shins. Shift forward, come to lunge position, down and up, just lower and lift that back knee. So while we're doing this, we're stretching hip flexors, quads, and that back leg, while we continue to get warmed up. Hold it on the bottom, arms reach forward and up. Hold this stretch, thumbs back a little bit, chest lifted, feel that stretch. Nice, release your hands to the knee. Put your left heel on top and shift your body forward. Toes back, core strong. So if I shift to a little bit of an angle, again, always feel the stretch in the belly of the muscle. Try to avoid those attachment points. Drop your toes, stretch the shin. Take a deep breath in and out. And then your foot comes to the platform or floor. Go ahead and lower and lift into your lunge on this side. So we'll also do a few things today, taking into consideration age. As we get older, we have to work harder, but also smarter. Take it down, lift up. In order to, I don't know, kind of like fight the effects of aging, to keep our same, same levels of strength, of muscle mass, you just have to be smarter about it. Put your weight on this leg, go ahead and stand up, march in place. All right, so if you have a step in front of you, follow along. Left leg steps up and down. Four. 
four more of these. Three, two, switch it out. Right leg steps up. Let your arms just swing easy from your shoulders. Now check it out. Are you feeling warm? Is your body ready to do some work? Four, three, two, and one. All right, we are going to do some push-ups. So I'd like you to put your hands on a step if you have it. I'll turn sideways. And you're gonna come into plank position. So if you're not used to doing push-ups on your hands, I want you to try this. Take your feet wide, turn your fingers in a little bit, and hold plank. That's a great place to stay. You can try tiny push-ups or full push-ups. Feet wide, make it easier. Feet together, make it just a little harder. I'm gonna split the difference. Remember our goal is doing our age in push-ups every day. How are we doing with that? All right, grab a mat if you have it. And just go ahead and put it on the floor. Little edge up on your step. Come down, heels up on top of the step. We're gonna do a full sit up. So arms at the side, roll down, arms reach behind. And then the arms can kind of provide a little bit of cheat, a little bit of leverage to help us come all the way up to touch the toes. So do a few more of these. We've got to get that core nice and toasty. Do your best not to heave ho but rather roll. So the arms kind of lead you and you roll up to follow your, your hands. We'll do two more. And grab your knees, swing your legs. Let's go ahead and come up onto our feet. Just gonna toss this out of the way. All right. At your step, we're gonna run up and down. So I want you to just straddle, fast run. And be aware of which leg is running first. And now switch that. If this hurts your knees or ankles, walk it instead of running, okay? But take it up a notch today. Give yourself permission to take it up a notch. And down. All right. We're going to, I'm gonna sit this back here for a moment. We're gonna grab our heavier dumbbells. So whatever that is for you. And we're gonna start. There's a lot of lower body in this workout water here. Hang on. Okay. We got a lot of lower body in this workout. So I want you to put your weights right here and just press and press, press and press. Sideways, sideways. So just starting with some attention to those outer thighs. So getting a lot of bang for your buck here. You're working tensor fascia lata, that pocket muscle clear up high in your hip. Also, gluteus medius. That's kind of your side glute. Yeah. We're gonna take that eight more times. 
Lay those legs. Seven. Six. Four strong. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now weights on the thighs. Squat for two. And lift for two. But what I want you to do, a little bit different here, is I want you to put your weight in the outside edges of your feet. Really press into those outer edges. See if you can feel those outer edges that we just worked. We've got four more here. You're almost rolling your foot out. Not exaggerated, but just a little bit. One more. All right, here we go. Side legs again. Out and out. Out. Press. They get heavier, don't they? It's a little harder to lift. Come on. How about if we do eight more? What do you say? Seven, six, All right, let these guys go. Now I'm pretty sure you are gonna hate me for what's about to happen. Especially if you're around my age. We're gonna start by just alternating knees side to side. This is your holding pattern. And you're gonna come back to this. But we're gonna go to one side and do our age in repeater knees. So if you're young, when you get to your age, you're gonna come back to this and wait for me. And you'll be waiting a while. Two more and we'll begin. On your left side, repeater knees. And that's it. So to make it harder, you're gonna get lower. This top hip is gonna start talking to you. Abs stay strong. Yes, I can count in my head while I'm talking. That's 32, come on. All the way to your age. 40. All right, three, 54, 55, 56, 57. Oh, thanks for waiting for me. We're gonna do those single knees while we wait for our friends that are in their 60s. And then we'll do that again on the other leg. Are you ready? Your age. Here we go, you're over on your right side. Breathe, come on. Twenty. There's thirty. Breathe, everybody. There's forty. Ow. <laughs> Fifty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. oh, march it out. Single knees if you're waiting. Okay. Well, that was really fun. Grab a drink of water. Grab those heavy dumbbells again. All right, let's take a plie. Toes turned out. Dumbbells on the thighs. Down for two. Squeeze your glutes. All 
All right, so first set, we focused on outer thighs. Now I'd like you to focus on inner thighs. Really squeeze in like you're squeezing a big beach ball between your knees. Abs stay so strong. Imagine that you have a tight belt around your waist. All right, we're gonna go down for three counts. So pulse, 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 and squeeze. Give yourself a little extra by really squeezing your glutes at the top. Down, two, three, and squeeze. Nice. One more, three and one. Down and hold. Alternate your heels off the ground. Ah, a little bit of calves. Four, three, both heels up, ready. Up and hold, hold. A little bit of balance, a lot of strength. Sit lower if you can for eight, six, four, three. Drop your heels, lower two. Come back up and squeeze that beach ball. Down for two and squeeze. Nice. One more time. Single counts. Here we go. Squeeze those inner thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Muscles doing the work. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to combine those actions. One heel up at a time. Each time you lower, pop another heel. Good. Whew. Feels good, huh? There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Take it up a notch. Working it. Last two. Last one. Let these go. All right. Great time to grab a drink. Towel off. Take care of yourself. All right, let's do some cardio. Let's do some cardio, okay. Woo, let's get me every time. Hands on the hips. Give me some kind of in-between plie and narrow squats. Easy right here. From the side, it looks like this. We're gonna touch the floor, fingertips and straight up. Fingertips and straight up. Four more. This progressively gets harder. Option to stay here or lift. So the arms stay straight. Longer levers always make things harder. Hardest, we're gonna add a little jump on top. Jump up, jump up. Four more. Here we go. Down for two. So right back where we started. Weight, hands on your hips. We'll go through that one more time. Single count. Here we go. Touch the floor. Ooh. Who is breathing? Four more. Here's the sweat. Arms lift, go. All the way down, all the way up. Four more. Whew. You got it. Are you ready? Squat jumps, let's go. You got eight. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. 
Down for two. Go back to your plie. Slow. Oh my goodness. That was fun. That was fun. Single counts. Go under, over. Oh yeah. And release. All right, my friends, we are going to grab heavy dumbbells. This set is for the whole body. So we're gonna do something called a clean and press. So it goes like this. We squat, curl, and then drive up through your heels Come back to your squat. Down, curl it, press it, squat. Ready? We'll wait for the music and we'll catch up to tempo. Down, curl, press, squat. Whew. Try to sit low and drive up from your heels. Down, curl, up one more time. All right, weights by your sides. Feet a little wider. Let's go upright row and lower. Can you tell how working full body is like cardio, right? The shoulders right here. Breathe. Pull. Yeah. Pull back a little more. Get into the back of that shoulder. Two more, two more. You got it. And one. And down. Set those down. If you have the option, go to a lighter dumbbell. And we'll do lateral raises. Knees together, open two, and close. Open two, and close. Now, pick up a knee, balancing as you lift, switch. And stay in tight. It's kind of like the karate kid. Wax on, wax off. Slow and controlled. You got it. Four more just like this. Deltoids and balance. Three. Two more. Finish back to upright rows. You've got lighter weights, so you can go with singles. Upper back. Rear deltoids, shoulders, two more, and let them go. Okay, let's get to some cardio. You got a bench, grab it, and we're going to do a variation of burpees. So we're going to start like this, lift up high, squat down low. Shoot a leg back, step in. Lift up high, squat down low. Shoot one leg back, step it in. Bring it to tempo. Up, down, one leg out. Up, down, switch. Now, you're gonna stay with this, or two legs jump out and in. And a nice option, watch the first one, is feet wide. Okay, that's a little easier on the low back than jumping in with your feet together. So if you have any low back pain or injury, you're gonna do a wide-legged burpee. If not, jump in. And march it out. Take your hands, 
Shake your shoulders. I'm gonna go one more set of those. So I'm gonna take you through singles. Up, deep squat, and a lunge. If you're a double leg burpee person, go for it. If that's working for you, and you wanna try two feet, go for it. Wide or narrow landing. To make it even harder, jump before you squat. Two more. March it out. Don't worry about a thing. Woo. All right, friends. One more little thing. Reach up. Squat low. One lunge. Bring it in. Out, in, out, switch. Up, down, opposite. Three pulls. Step and lift. Do that again. Out, 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 together up. Out, 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 together up. One more time on each side. And up. All right. Want to hear some good news? We are right at the halfway mark. Right at the halfway mark. We've got three sets behind us. Strength and cardio. Three sets to go. So go ahead. And I am actually going to use that bench. If you don't have one, don't worry about a thing. Okay. If you do have a riser, you're going to put your left foot up on the bench. Your dumbbells are here on mid thigh, and you're just going to do a squat. So, what we're doing here is overloading this standing leg. It's almost like a one legged squat, but you've got this bench here to provide balance. To make it harder, both weights go on the standing or the bottom leg. Load that baby up. Hip drive straight back. And there's very little weight on this up leg. To make it harder still, pick up your heel of that top foot. So now this really is a single leg squat. You just got a little bit of balance right there. Split the weights, drop the heel, single counts. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Four, three, two, and one. Switch to the other side. Check your squat. And here we go, down for two. And up, so now you're loading the opposite leg. Keep it slow. Good. Switch to two dumbbells on one leg if you like. And really push into the heel of the working or standing leg. If you got really heavy dumbbells, this is awkward. Stay with me. Make it harder. Pick up the heel of that top leg. Push. Ah, uh, yeah. Split the dumbbells, drop the heel, single count. Here we go. Down, up. Gotta love it. Well, you don't gotta, but it's easier if <laughs> you do, or at least pretend you do. All right, dumbbells down. Light dumbbells in your hands, please. We're gonna come up on our step. I'm pretty sure that's really noisy when I drag that across the floor. Here we go, right leg. Step up with the curl. All right, this is easier, right? So we're just gonna ride the easy wave. Let the heart rate be 
up in that seven zone. Straight up, straight down. Strong core. Now push the weights out front, pull them back. So from the side, my arms are doing this all the way forward, all the way back. Keep your weights close to you, run it up. Again, that's an option. That's always option to take it to impact, to take it up a notch. Four, three, two, start over. Left leg with biceps. Ah, yeah. Curl it in. Who's having fun? Who's glad you're here? Reach and pull. Upper back. We sit. Eight more of these. Come on, pull. Seven. Six. Low belly firm. Four, four. Three. Two, two. Waves close. Option to run. Pick your pace. Take it up a notch. Good. Squat it out. Right here. Your big muscles moving. Glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Four, three, two. Let's go back to full body right here. Press down, push up. Come on. There you go. Four more. All right, get ready. Arms stay up. Balance. 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 Four more. Three. Feel your core. Two. Come up and hold. Hold. Try to stay upright. Leg a little higher. Three, two, one, and switch. Lift and hold. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good, release. Light dumbbells down. Let's go to chest. Grab your mat. Put it on the floor or on your step. Heavy dumbbells. And go ahead and have a seat. Deep breath. Roll down onto your back. Legs up. Single presses. Eight. Seven. Six. Hugging your low belly. Push your ribs into your step or floor. Slow down. Press up. And as you lower, one leg comes down. Abs in. Press up and lower. Now what's really awesome about this is you've got this strong torso, shoulders, chest, abdominals, and back, all working. As those limbs reach away from midline, the core has to work like crazy. So turn your palms in, longer levers, flies, up for two, and open. All right, who's feeling the sweat? Like when you lay down, your body goes, okay, catch up. A trick, body thinks we're gonna cool down, we're not. One more. All right, legs up, dumbbells in, down and up singles. You can drop your feet if you like. Press your back down. All right, we're gonna go for a little burn in the chest. Stay with me, pull, sit down. Three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, squeeze. Come on. Abs are so strong, you guys. Cinch that belt. 
transverse abdominis, the muscle that runs around you, is in charge of stabilizing your torso so you can work your chest. Pull, pull, pull and press. Single count, last eight. Seven. Come on, six. Woo. Three and two and one. Go ahead and rock yourself up to a seat. Lose the heavy dumbbells. Grab the light ones. We'll hit back to cardio. A couple more sets here, friends. I'm gonna grab light dumbbells and we'll go over the top. So I always just put a little hop in. If that hurts your knees, step over and you can slow it down. Don't worry about the tempo. I'm back with you, curl it. All right, let's add in some triceps. Triceps in the back. Like a party in the back. You're tall. Lift a little higher. Be light in your feet. Four more. Little lateral work. Now we're gonna hold a squat and three, two, four, and let me count that again for you. Over, so it's down, three, two, over, four pulses, one over, four, three, two, up. Really, I am a trained professional. You just sometimes would never know. If you didn't know better, sometimes you might wonder if I just got my certification online. But no, I've been doing this for 40 years this May. 40. Whew. Not this, because step wasn't invented then. I've been doing this for 30 though. All right, pause right here. Over easy, curl and press. Really light in your feet. It's like you're trying not to make noise with your feet. Really quiet. The emphasis on the up, on the up. Eight more, come on. Last four, last three, last two, last one. Lose your dumbbells. Come down to a plank. We're gonna set up for a little glute work. So we're gonna go like this. First we'll lift and lower. Lift and lower. Abs are in so strong, have to be. That's the support for your back. Now, lift and take it out to the side. Back in and down. Up, out, in, down. Press into your hands. Open up your back. Scapular protraction. Up, out. Two more. And come on up, weight off your hands. Grab your heavy dumbbells. Let's do a set of lunges. You got those glutes ready. Here we go. I'm gonna go with the music. Step, lower, push, switch. Push, switch. Step, down, push. Taller spine, look up. So you glance to make sure your foot lands and then look up. 
so that you don't get all hunchy. You wanna be hunchy. Last four lunges. Three. Two more. Okay, set your dumbbells down. We are still in the glutes. Grab your mat. I'm gonna put my mat flat on the floor. We're coming down to elbows. Don't get excited, we'll be up again. <laughs> or get excited if you want, that's okay too. All right, elbow plank. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Stay in those glutes. That's where we started this set. That's where we're gonna end. Squeeze your glutes, come on. Woo. Four more like this. Three, two, one. Drop your knees. Stretch it out for a second. Oh my goodness. All right, who is ready for one final set of cardio? I'm sweating. Woo. I really hope you are too. I think it was those 57 lunges we did. Okay, bring this baby back. Grab your light dumbbells and let's finish up right here. You're in a straddle, tap your bench. Weights in close to your body, rotate toward the knee that's lifting. You can stay here. To make it harder, the knee just comes up. Rotate. To make this harder, pull in. Reach forward. Pull in. Harder still. Reach up. Pull down. Okay, you can stay here. Next level. Come back to taps. I'm gonna take it faster. You can stay here. You can add those knees. Ready? Four, three, fast if you like. Whew. Come on, join me. Four, three, two, squat it for me. Right here. Back to these, huh? Can you tell I love squats? You kind of can, right? Add a lift, hold down, press up. Ah, oh, yeah. One more. Keep breathing, everybody. To make it harder. Corners and toes. Corners and toes. To make it harder still, leave the ground. Ah, come on. Join me for three, two, one. Come down into a squat. Either stay right here or drop your hips and lift. Come back up. If that doesn't hurt your knees, add in that core work or hold your squat. Not all knees love this one. Last two. Whew. And we did it. We did it, my friends. We're moving into core. Keep your light dumbbells and come to a stand. We're gonna start core with some balance because, oh my goodness, do you need core for balance? 
So dumbbells at your side, stand on your right foot, pick up your left knee. If that feels okay, extend, curl, open the leg to the side, all the way back to a T. Reach down, pull up, stand up, bring it back. Woo. And down. If you came more gracefully than I did. Other side. Right knee up. Extend. Weights in. Open. It takes a 180 degree turn behind you. Find your balance. Row once. Stand up and return. Slow is better. All right, so do those on your own. Back and forth. Around. If you fall, it's okay, it's actually good. You're just gonna get back up. It's not whether you fall, it's whether, it's how many times even you get back up. So how many times in your life have you fallen? How many times in your life have you given yourself the opportunity to fall? Because what it means is you are stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, I used to say no one risks any injury sitting on the sofa. That's not true anymore. We are sitting ourselves to death sitting on our sofas. Can we go one more time both ways? Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, how are those hips, people? How are those hips? <laughs> All right, back to standing. Feet a little wider than hips distance, side to side. Get those obliques. Now, I hope you already feel these because we have been working a lot of muscles today that we didn't even really know we were working. I hope your obliques are happy. Whew. Why not? I'm so sweaty. This is so fun. Eight more. All right, go ahead and set these down. Grab your mat. And we'll just put the mat right on the floor. I'd like you to come down to a seat. Grab a drink. Tell yourself I love you. Okay, come into Boat pose. You can hold your knees, pull your chest up if you like, but balance here. Balance here. A really nice goal is to stay here for your age in seconds. So just because you have an old teacher, we're in this pose for 57 seconds. All right, lift your chest. I know, no fair, right? If you want to drop out at your age in seconds, you may. It's okay. Hold on with me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Soles of your feet together, round over your legs. We have reached cool down. Feel yourself breathing in and breathing out. Just let your nervous system settle, your heart rate slow. As you come up to a tall seat, bend your knees. Place your feet on your mat, 
fingertips behind you pointing in and we're going to do a reverse tabletop so lifting up you're stretching the front of your shoulders your chest your hips a bit hold and breathe and release finding a seat and we'll take a figure four so bring one leg up on top of the opposite knee you can lean back into your hands the closer you are to your legs the deeper the stretch so you can kind of inch your hands in inch your legs closer come into a little back bend pull your chest up and breathe So what would you be willing to willingly, knowingly try, knowing that you could fail, you could fall? Switch sides. I was that kid that went out at five o'clock in the morning to teach myself how to ride a bike because I didn't want anybody to see me fall. We all have our stories like that, right? But when you look back on your life, all the things you've learned, you had to fall. You had to get hurt. So I just want to challenge you. Is there something that you can put on the calendar today, tomorrow, this week that will challenge you? Is it a... Uh, request that you'd like to make of someone and you're not sure what their answer will be. Switch sides or um, release that. Take your legs out in front of you. Clear the flesh. Reach high and fold over your legs coming into hamstring calf stretch. Walk your hips back. You can bend your knees if that helps you. Maybe there's just a recipe that you wanted to try, but it's complicated and you're afraid you won't be able to make it just right. How about that? How about trying something like painting or ceramics or a music class? A new sport, even a new pose in yoga. It's not about how many times you fall, it's how many times you get back up. Go ahead and come to your knees. And from the knees, we'll tuck our toes under behind us and we'll just put our hands on our hips, pressing the hips forward, using this to stretch the hip flexors. If you'd like, you can touch your feet or you can keep your hands right here on your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, opening the chest. Take a dramatic breath in and out. Oh, we did mostly lower body today. I hope your legs, hips, and thighs feel good. Step forward with one foot, come into a lunge. and then turn toward the wide side of your mat. Toes turned out, lunge side to side. Get those inner thighs. Turn toward the other side, coming into a lunge. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Coming back through that wide straddle, bring your back into a flat position, heel toe your feet closer, soft knees, hands on your thighs, press yourself up to standing. Take a deep breath, arms up overhead, reach tall, and then with palms up slowly, lower your arms. Stand in your strength, you're amazing. Try something that scares you. But first, give yourselves a hand. I am so glad you're joining me here for these YouTube workouts. 
Uh, please share them with your friends and reach out to me if you have any comments or questions. And in addition to that, just have an amazing day.